I would describe what I do as really, really hard work. Gabby Thomas, most known for her spectacular career progress in the 200 meters, is adamant that she can be, actually is, as good as the 100 meter queens like Shakari Richardson in the Jamaican trio. More so, there goes our versatile queen. As the countdown to the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris continues, the anticipation grows for fans and athletes ready to compete. For Atlanta-born U.S. track and field star Gabby Thomas, the journey to Paris represents another shot at Olympic glory and a continued dedication to years of hard work and unwavering determination. Thomas, who was originally from New Jersey, a two-time Olympic medalist and a Harvard graduate, is no stranger to the grand stage of international athletics. With a master's degree in public health, she embodies the essence of a well-rounded athlete balancing excellence on the track with academic achievement off it. It'll be my second Olympics and I feel great and I feel fit, Thomas said, adding that she's excited to embrace the atmosphere of a normal Olympic experience compared to the challenges of the previous games due to COVID-19. For her, the Olympics represent more than just a sporting event. They symbolize the culmination of years of relentless training and sacrifice. A lot of people don't see what goes into the few seconds that we're sprinting on the line at the Olympics, she said, but we've been training for years for that. Recounting her early memories of discovering her speed on the track, Thomas reminisced about her days at Atlanta's college preparatory private school, Pace Academy, where she realized her potential and laid the foundation for her remarkable career. I remember all the boys wanted to race me just to see if they could beat me, and I beat all of them but one. Thomas said, but I would beat the fastest boys in my third grade class. Despite her speedy rise in track and field, Thomas remains grounded. She emphasizes the importance of staying true to oneself and pursuing one's passions with dedication and joy. Just take your passion, let your passions drive you, she said. Speaking of passion, the talented sprinter is committed to making a difference in healthcare bridging disparities and giving back to her community. Through her volunteer work at a healthcare clinic in Austin, Texas, she embodies the spirit of service and compassion that extends beyond athletics. As she looks ahead to the Paris Olympics and beyond, Gabby's vision is clear to continue inspiring others through her athletic achievements and contributions to society. And a true inspiration she is as she continues her way to the top and enjoys the journey in the process. As you all know, she is well on her way to greatness. In fact, when she went to the 29th edition of the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix held at New Balance in Boston in early February, she was more than ready to take on her competitors. Unsurprisingly, she ended up excelling in the women's 300-meter event. Well, it came as a surprise to some since she usually competes in the 100 and 200-meter sprint. Anyway, going back, she registered an impressive time of 35.75 seconds in Boston and left behind the Nigerian athlete Favor Ofili and fellow American Lina Irby, who clocked 35.99 seconds and 36.05 seconds, respectively. As Sidious Mag said, the fan favorite delivers, as they featured pictures of Gabby at the finish line and of her holding a bunch of flowers, which she later handed over to an adorable little girl in the stands. In an Instagram post, she posted a series of pictures dedicating her win to the fans. The post was captioned, Who I Do It For. It showed pictures of her with fans shortly after the race, and a few more with the Boston Lions Track Club. Then, just as March came to a close, Thomas, along with Arian Knighton and Grant Holloway, produced record times at the Texas and Florida relays. Although her main focus, as you all know, was on the 200-meter dash, she held her own well in the 100-meter dash and won in 10.88 seconds. The win also meant a lot for her, especially since she won ahead of Solera Barnes of Sports Management and Marketing, who finished in 11.00 seconds, and Tamara Clark from Adidas, who crossed the line in 11.03 seconds. Courtney Johnson, competing unattached, secured the fourth spot with a time of 11.18 seconds in a separate heat. But here's the thing, she didn't stop with just a 100-meter win. After her victory in the event, Thomas went on to win the 200-meter dash in a meet record and world-leading time of 20.08 seconds, 
Adidas' Tamara Clark once again trailed Thomas, finishing in 22.21 seconds. Lina Irby Jackson also representing Adidas, and Nisha Berger from UTEP rounded out the top four with times of 22.70 and 22.85 seconds, respectively. I feel good. I have been doing a lot of long running. I am fit and I am strong, Thomas stated, before adding, I will hit the ground running with the speed work in April. As is pretty obvious by now, Gabby Thomas stole the spotlight with her remarkable performance in the sprint events at the Texas Relays. Representing New Balance, she clinched the women's 100 and 200 meter invitational titles, showcasing her early dominance on the track. After the event, she won three gold medals in three different classifications. According to her post-race interview with Sidious Mag, the track star is even more taken aback by this since she is anticipating a successful season. When asked about how she managed to go through all these events with ease, she replied with a chuckle, saying, I love running, so I love racing, and at trials we have to do rounds. So this kind of really preps you for that and keeps you fit. It's good to actually see where I'm at, and it's good training. Honestly, it's too early, it's March, so just go through it. Overall, Thomas has become a fierce competitor on the outdoor track, as the 2024 season awaits more epic performances from her. As the world eagerly awaits the 2024 Summer Olympics, Thomas stands to leave her mark on the track again. She will represent not only the U.S., but also Atlanta, embodying the Olympic motto of faster, higher, stronger, together, inspiring generations to come. With only a few months left until Paris, the New Balance athlete is at the height of her preparation. By the time you get to the Olympics, you want to be at your top peak performance, physically, mentally, emotionally. Everything we do is gearing up for that one moment, Thomas said on stage at the warehouse during South by Southwest. You can't even be a little bit off because a centimeter is the difference between a gold and silver medal. What most people don't know, though, is that she has bigger goals outside of the track, which she didn't even expect happening until it took root in her life. In fact, just a few days ago, as she juggled emails about a meeting she had to run at a volunteer health clinic and readied for a voiceover for a commercial with a blue chip sponsor, as well as figured out the logistics of an upcoming weight training session, she had something of an epiphany. I really did not perceive my life being the way it is now," she said. Her advice? With that kind of drive and dedication to the sport, will she actually end up winning a gold medal in Paris? That we'll have to see. For now, let's try to figure out whether or not we'll see this athlete there too.